Jesus Gilead, I guess Falcher Ovig and Charmin is Shaw. A smishing Tolo Polo Doherty, Uthran Energy in the Hulskulle, I guess Uthran Energy at Mjordan in the Hulskulle Shaw, I guess his Kush Ahisha do, Falcher Horov, Gijelska and the Heron Galliv, Erin Lay, special to Shaw. Temujin Shaw knew Hun Kelyru Pabli Yenu, Erehashka Akadula Tajenda, Givig Yan Ragunj Kursi Lane, Lorinch Blanta and Lewis. Lay more available in the Hulskulle. Agus Okai Tmis Mo, Agus Tmis Tower Theory, and Marcel Hain. Gumairish of Rogemi Achtur, Agus Gim Gachra Achelet Harovamach, Marcemi Hit, the Hojulska and the Heron Galliv. I am Professor Polo Doherty, Deputy, Reg- Deputy President and Registrar of this university. And on behalf of the National University of Galway, I want to extend to you all a very warm welcome to this virtual conferring ceremony. To you, the graduates, I say that in awarding these degrees today, we are publicly acknowledging and paying tribute to your intelligence, hard work, and dedication to the course of studies that has brought you to this point. The honor conferred on you today represents an important milestone in what I hope will be distinguished, fulfilling, and rewarding lives and careers. In these special circumstances, we are conducting this ceremony online, but I very much hope that in due course, you and we will be able to share and celebrate your achievement with your families and friends and the academic community generally, all of whom have contributed to, in a variety of ways to this, your academic success. Graduations are an appropriate celebration of that success, and in this university, we have an Irish to mark the occasion. Graduation ceremonies are a tradition that spans many centuries. In Ireland, they go all the way back to the first university established in Dublin in 1320, though it no longer exists. And the tradition has continued through to the president, the present. This year, this university celebrates 175 years since its foundation, being originally one of three Queen's Colleges established in 1845 in Belfast, Cork and Galway. From its very beginnings at Queen's College Galway, this university has been about ensuring that those who pull here, wherever they make their future afterwards, go out into the wide world equipped with the best education that they can get and that we can give them. The word university comes in shortened form from the Latin Universitas Magistrorum et Scholarium, which translates as a community of teachers and scholars. And that notion of community is something we continue to cherish here. Our staff work tirelessly to bring the best of education and the best of postgraduate supervision into play so that our students, when they face the world in a new competitive environment, can hold their heads high, knowing that they join an outstanding group of people, Galway graduates, among whose numbers are to be found many of the most illustrious figures in Irish civic, political, business and cultural life, foremost among them, the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. After today's ceremony, you, the graduates, will take your place in that group, and it is my fervent hope that you will do so with pride. Latin was originally the working language of the universities, and as a link to the past, we still use the language in the conferring ceremony. In the Latin formula of words used in your parchments, two things are confirmed publicly by the university, academic quality of your award and the moral character of you as graduates. I hope that as you go through the rest of your lives as Galway graduates, you will remember and strive to uphold both of those characteristics. I would now like to introduce you to the various people present today who are central to this ceremony. On the screen are the President of NUI Galway, Professor Kieran O'Hogarty, the Dean of Graduate Studies, Professor Lucy, and the Secretary of Governance and Academic Affairs, Ms. Caroline Lochnan. I now hand over to Ms. Lochnan, who will open the formal proceedings in Latin. Pre honorables praises tutaque universitas, hic committee universitaria hodia convocatus sunt, ut qui de momenes molierske maxime exame ad gradus academicus admitanter. President and all of the university community, this meeting of the university has been convened for the purpose of admitting graduates to the degrees of doctorates and masters. Eoseske presentabit, Professor Lucy Burns. Professor Lucy Burns will present the graduates. 
Pre honorables praises Totequay Universitas, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Arts. Presento vobis hasca meus filius filios meus, quos omne scio tam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et idonis, esse qui admentanter ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae, itque tibi fide mea testor ac spondeo, totique academia. Ego arshata tamihi concesse, admito vos ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Anastasia Beltramello is awarded a PhD in Italian for research supervised by Dr. Laura McLaughlin on the combined use of subtitling and revoicing tasks to enhance L2 acquisition of multi-word expressions. Owen Byrne is awarded a PhD in Irish studies for research supervised by Professor Louis de Puer on language and narrative experiment in O'Kine, Beckett and O'Neulon. Ryan Andrew Dennis is awarded a PhD in English for research supervised by Dr. John Kenny on a critical comparative and creative response to the theme of farming in Irish fictional narratives. Brendan Michael Patrick Dolan is awarded a PhD in sociology for research supervised by Professor Caroline McGregor on principal investigator impact orientation in medical device public research. David Kilgannon is awarded a PhD in history for research supervised by Dr. Kevin O'Sullivan and Dr. Sarah Ann Buckley on policy and provision for the intellectually disabled in 20th century Ireland. Amy MacDonald is awarded a PhD in education for research supervised by Dr. Kevin Davison on a critical examination of the call for more male teachers in Irish primary schools. Francesca Nicora is awarded a PhD in Italian for research supervised by Dr. Anne O'Connor and Dr. Laura McLaughlin on evaluating the effectiveness of explicit prosodic training in the foreign language classroom. Francesca Nicora's PhD also meets the criteria for the award of European doctorate. Stefan Gerd Schoige is awarded a PhD in Gaelge for research supervised by Dr. John Walsh on moods chang oliakta, idja oliakta changa, August Fein. Ilulukti Nuachanchori Nagoelga Agus Nabakasha. Laura Tagnin is awarded a PhD in education for research supervised by Dr. Manuela Hines and Dr. Maura Nirirdon on the CLIL Science Classroom, learning science when the language of instruction is a foreign language. Carmen Keeley is awarded a PhD in political science for research supervised by Dr. Carmel Devani and Dr. Alan Fives on Polish parents' perspectives <laughs> on caring and help seeking in a culturally diverse neighborhood. Lucy Elvis is awarded a PhD in philosophy for research supervised by Professor Felix Kroher Omerhu on the philosophy of architecture in the work of the German philosopher Hans George Gadamer. Master of Literature. Presento vobis hunc meum filium, quam scio tam moribus, quam doctrina habileum et edonum, isse qui admitanter ad gradum magisterii in literis, itque tibi fide mea testor ac spandeo totique academia. Ego authoritate mihi concesse, admit her ad gradum magisteri in literis. Andy Kellogg. Pre honorables praises totique universitas, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Business and Law. Presento vobis hasca meus filius filos meus. Quas omne scio tam moribus, 
quam doctrina habiles et a donis esse qui admitantur ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae, itque tibi fide mea tester ac sponteo totique academia. Ego othratata mihi concessa ad mihavos ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Bo Chen is awarded a PhD in law for research supervised by Dr. Charles O'Mahony and Dr. Mary Keyes on mental health law, exploring China's mental health law reform under the United Nations CRPD. Owen Cullina is awarded a PhD in business information systems for research supervised by Professor Kieran Conboy and Dr. Lorraine Morgan on a framework for examining crowdsourcing practices in research funding agencies. Eamon Bartholomew O'Connor is awarded a PhD in marketing for research supervised by Dr. Natasha Evers and Dr. Stephen Hines on understanding port performance in the context of policy design. Master of Science. Presenta vobis hunc meum filium, quem scio tam moribus quam doctrina, habileum et edoneum, is a qui admitantur ad gradum magisterie scientiae, itque tibi fide me attestor ac spondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritatem mihi concessa, admitter te ad gradum magisterie scientiae. Aina Murphy. Pre honorabilis praesis totque universitas, Doctor of Medicine, MD, present o vobis hunc meum filium, quem scio tam moribus quam doctrina habileum et edionium, esse qui admitantur ad gradum magisterie scientiae, itque tibi fide me attestor ac spondeo totique academiae. Ego authoritatem mihi concessa, admitter te ad gradum magisterium scientiae. Derek Timothy O'Keefe is awarded an MD in medicine for research supervised by Professor Timothy O'Brien. This work examined different diagnostic tests used in the evaluation of patients with Cushing's disease. Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, Medicine, Nursing and Health Sciences. Presento vobis hasce meus filius philos meus quos omne scio tam moribus quam doctrina habiles et edonis ise qui admitantur ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae ibque tibi fide mea taster ac sponteo totique academiae. And for Derek O'Keefe, ego autatatum e concessa, admitter te ad gradum doctoratus in medicina, and for the next graduates, ego authoritatum ihi concessa, admitter vos ad gradum doctoratus philosophia. Apologies for that slip up, sorry about that. Um, um, next we have Khaled Ahmed. Khaled Mohammed Tom Ahmed is awarded a PhD in surgery for research supervised by Professor Stuart Redmond Walsh on preconditioning's role in vascular and general surgery. Kira Curran is awarded a PhD in medicine for research supervised by Dr. Paul O'Connor and Dr. Maureen Kelly on measuring and monitoring safety in primary care. Teresa McHale is awarded a PhD in surgery for research supervised by Dr. Roisin Dwyer on molecular profiling of urothelial carcinoma. Una McVeigh is awarded a PhD in surgery for research supervised by Dr. Nicola Miller, Dr. Derek Morris and Professor Michael Curran on the identification and characterization of gene mutations in Irish women with breast cancer. Rachel Ronan is awarded a PhD in anatomy for research supervised by Dr. Siobhan McMahon and Professor Abbe Pandit on glycosylation in the injured and regenerating spinal cord and the influence of biomaterial treatment. Amin Tashikor is awarded a PhD in pharmacology and therapeutics for research supervised by Dr. Howard Fernhead 
on new assays to detect cell death inducing protein complexes. Master of Science by Research. Presento vobis Jose meus filius, quos omne scio tam moribus, quam doctrina, habiles et edonis eze qui admitantur ad gradum doctoratus in medicina, uh, itque tibe fie mea testor ac spondeo, totique academiae. Ego authoritate mihi conces, admit of osa gradum magisterie scientiae. Dara, Matimo. Pre honorabilis praesis totaque universitas. Doctor of philosophy, PhD, engineering and science. Presento vobis hasca meas filius filus meas quos omne scio tam moribus quam doctrina habiles et edonis eze qui admitantur ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Itque tibi fide mea testor ac spandeo, totique academiae. Ego arthratata mihi conces, admit of osa gradum doctoratus philosophiae. Ramadan Abu Gadida is awarded a PhD in mechanical engineering for research supervised by Dr. Pat Donlan and Mr. Enda Francis Fallon on the integration of strategic management stages and quality management concepts in the airport sector. Golnaz Ashgari Azati is awarded a PhD in civil engineering for research supervised by Professor Mark Healy on sustainable treatment technologies using mixed waste media to mitigate agricultural contaminants in land drainage. Niguyen Mao Kuo Kuan awarded a PhD in informatics for research supervised by Professor John Breslin on an elastic and scalable spatio-temporal query processing engine for linked sensor data. Jane Holland is awarded a PhD in information technology for research supervised by Dr. Colm O'Riordan and Dr. Josephine Griffith on the evolution of collective behaviors in swarms of robots. Aniket Sanjay Krishsagar is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by, by Professor Abe Pandit and Dr. Siobhan McMahon on integrated proteomic and systems biology. Alessandra La Gioia is awarded a PhD in electrical and electronic engineering for research supervised by Professor Martin O'Halloran on the dielectric characterization of biological tissues for the design of novel electromagnetic based medical devices. Trish O'Connell is awarded a PhD in information technology for research supervised by Dr. Owen Malloy on trust relationships in agile scrum teams. Kahal Omurahu is awarded a PhD in civil engineering for research supervised by Professor Porik O'Donoghue, Professor Sean Lean and Dr. Richard Barrett on improving the understanding of power plant steels at high temperatures for more efficient operation. Li Thi An Tu Pham is awarded a PhD in informatics for research supervised by Dr. Muhammad Intizar Ali and Dr. Matthias Nichols on continuous reasoning over streams with answer set programming. Sakwib Salah Uddin is awarded a PhD in electrical and electronic engineering for research supervised by Professor Martin O'Halloran, Professor Edward Jones and Dr. Atif Shazad on the dielectric properties of biological tissues for medical applications. Johi Samal is awarded a PhD in biomedical engineering for research supervised by Professor Abe Pandit on developing biomaterial solutions for neurodegenerative diseases while modulating brain glycoenvironment. Alessandro Singlitico is awarded a PhD 
in Mechanical Engineering for research supervised by Dr. Rory Monaghan and Dr. Jamie Goggins on a model to assess the economic and environmental sustainability of renewable gas production in Ireland. Huyong Wu is awarded a PhD in Mechanical Engineering for research supervised by Dr. Catherine Cormican on the relationship between shared leadership and team effectiveness in engineering design teams. Jimmy Alex is awarded a PhD for research supervised by Professor Peter Crowley on protein assembly by supramolecular ligands such as calixarines and foldamers. Majed Alharbi is awarded a PhD in physics for research supervised by Dr. Mark Foley on the use of an optical fiber dosometry system based on an inorganic scintillation. Marwa Al Jahani is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Dr. Andrea Erlichsen on pharmaceutical co crystals and co amorphous formulations. Awatif Al Moteri is awarded a PhD in chemistry for research supervised by Dr. Andrea Erksleben on dual action anti cancer platinum drugs. Nizreen Nam Abd Alokbi is awarded a PhD in mathematics for research supervised by Professor Graham Ellis on algorithms for applying finitely presented groupoids to applied topological problems. Kayleen Ambrosio Barros is awarded a PhD in botany and plant science for research supervised by Dr. Ronan Sulpice on the effect of temperature and light on barley growth and metabolism. Shravanthi Bandla is awarded a PhD in biochemistry for research supervised by Dr. Unar Fitzgerald and Professor Heinz Peter Nashar on the therapeutic potential of ER chaperone BIP in the central nervous system. <coughs> Martha Fuente Lastra is awarded a PhD in physics for research supervised by Dr. Mark Foley and Dr. Jamie Goggins on investigation of radon prevention and mitigation from radon measurements to specification for soil depressurization systems. Arindam Halder is awarded a PhD in medicine for research supervised by Professor Frank Barry and Professor Dietrich Repulse Schumann on machine learning and lexicon based solutions for the identification of protein interactions in myocardial infarction. Brendan Hallahan is awarded a PhD in botany and plant science for research supervised by Professor Charles Bellan on genome dosage, genetic hybridity and crop improvement. Carla Bellin Jaramillo Aguilar is awarded a PhD in zoology for research supervised by Professor Grace McCormack and Professor Olivier Thomas on the integrative systematics of sponges and nadarians in a protected marine reserve in Ecuador. Sean Kelly is awarded a PhD in Earth and Ocean Sciences for research supervised by Dr. Martin White on hydrographic and ecology interactions and climate change in Loch Furness, County Mayo. Vin Quang Mai is awarded a PhD in Applied Math Mathematics for research supervised by Dr. Martin Muir on the development of mathematical models for the kinetics of carbohydrate enzymes. Eduardo March is awarded a PhD in Botany and Plant Science for research supervised by Dr. Sara Farona on the molecular characterization of two plant proteins and their developmental functions. Tran Thi Hu Nia is awarded a PhD in mathematics for research supervised by Dr. Emil Skolberg and Professor Alexander Ram on the Hoshkild cohomology algebras 
of complete intersections. Kays Shakir is awarded a PhD in mathematics for research supervised by Dr. James Cruikshank on sparse and tight surface graphs. Master of Engineering Science. Presento vobis hosce meas filios filam meam quos omnes gio tam maribus quam doctrina habiles et edonis esse qui admitantur ad gradum magisteriae in scientiae ingenieria, it que tibe fide me attestar ac sponteo totique academia. Ego orthata to mihi concessa, admito vos ad gradum magisteriae in scientia ingenieria. Magic Janowski. Colin O'Neill. Dur Sarah Saida. Master of Science. Presento vobis hasque meas filios filios meos quos omne scio tam moribus quam doctrina habiles et edonis esse qui admitantur ad gradum magisteria scientiae id quae tibi fiae mea testor ac sponteo totique academia. Ego othratata mihi concessa, admito vos ad grada magisteriae scientiae. Maria Galindo Ponce. Blerio Lel. Robert Nesbitt. Thomas Jacob Skorek. Benjamin Suarez, Brianna Hull, Nicola Colette Kivney, Neil Andrew McMahon, Aaron Drohan. Ian McDonagh, Neve McNay, Finbar McGowan, Kieran David Guy. Pre honorables praises, Carmonies rite confectus, finum quaeso facius huius convocationis universitariae. This part of the ceremony and university convocation is now concluded. Thank you all very much for joining us. Agus uh, Kogordix Livilig. And we're imagining new ways of community and of being together as human beings. Uh, and this is one of them. We're imagining as we go through both yourselves celebrating this great day with uh, your friends and family, we hope, and also those who were with us on this journey. So those who supported you uh, through this journey, both personally and academically, uh, particularly conscious of those who uh, would normally be in the hall and normally be able to join us in that context. Uh, but as I say, we're reimagining communities. And I think we can imagine as we go through each of your names, uh, the the uh, wealth of happiness and the success that it brings, and we hope uh, success for the future also. We also imagine, certainly in my mind's eye, uh, all the supervisors who normally would be here today in great colour, and always this graduation was uh, one that uh, colleagues turned out for in great number. And I'd like to thank all those supervisors in the university community and those who supported you academically and in other ways uh, in uh, program offices and among our professional staff and colleagues and technical staff. Uh, in your work uh, that you've achieved to date, Gramaha um, And it would be remiss of me uh, not to mention in particular Professor Lucy Burns, who's today uh, 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 with us here for the ceremony and who is finishing up her normal tenure as Dean of Graduate Studies. And I'd like to thank Lucy today for her leadership, uh, both for yourselves as our students, but also for the university more generally. Uh, always a voice of, of uh, sense and wisdom 
uh, and I've had great pleasure in working with her for the last number of years, and I'd like to thank her uh, on this occasion for the work uh, she has done here. Uh, so, Gurmahaga Vilig, Asokta Nurbert Hajentik of Kogordikas Levilig. My name is Kieran Ahogadi, I'm president of NUI Galway, Agus Tommy Dana Hasag Wilch of Ling and you, Tabronering Akwilch of Ling, Sahala, Ak Tommy Dana Hasag Wilch of Ling, Erlina, Agus Gwich of Dan Tuckling, Agus Velling, Erno Koicha. Asgailiga, Mary Jeremy Kogordikas, and that means we celebrate together uh, and we, we uh, laugh and, and, and celebrate with you. And we hope, as we imagine, as I said earlier, new communities that we celebrate together here also. Uh, and that as we show you visions of campus, that you can be with us virtually in many ways, uh, as you as you were with us uh, on campus over the last number of years. Uh, the, the values of the university, uh, of which we're also imagining today, uh, the first of those, and we have been told in much of the feedback we've been given, the greatest of these is respect. And I think today we uh, give respect to you for the work you've done and your achievement to date. Uh, and we also uh, recognize the respect that you give and the importance of respect in research, uh, respect for the literature, respect for the evidence, uh, respect for others uh, that you work with. Uh, and no, now more than ever, we realize the importance of, of good evidence. Uh, and in the context of uh, the current crisis that we face and COVID-19, we know the importance of uh, good science uh, and broadly defined. Uh, and we know the importance of science more generally uh, in science and technology and engineering and mathematics as we have today, but also uh, in the context of imagining other ways of working, imagining communities, uh, dealing with and, and thinking about isolation, the importance of literature uh, in, in the, the human endeavor. And I think particularly today, uh, we think about that broad set of, of values that we have and that broad set of expertise that you bring to the world uh, in the multiplicity of ways. So now more than ever, evidence is important, but now more than ever, different perspectives on the world, different understandings of the human condition uh, are particularly important. And today, I think uh, in, in all of the colleges that graduate today, we see you as our graduates, as people who bring to the world uh, wisdom, who bring to the world expertise, who bring to the world your research, not only the topic you've covered, but your way of thinking about uh, research and evidence, which will be of value uh, and valued by uh, your communities uh, more generally and uh, the individuals with whom you work. So I would encourage you in, the, in bringing forward your, the next stage of your career to think of your research as that opportunity to give respect and that opportunity to recognize now, recognize now more than ever the value of your expertise the value of a multiplicity of views of the world, and most importantly, the value of insight on what it is to be part of this uh, planet of ours and the human condition more generally. And that's, I think, where most importantly, I think today in the context of the challenges that we face as a community, the crisis that we face as a world, uh, very often, certainly I think of research and of an academic uh, life in particular as being drawn to the life of the mind. But I think more and more we now see the importance of being drawn to the life of the heart and that in research, we think not only about research uh, in its own right, but its impact on the world, its ability to make the world a better place. And that responsibility we have, all of us have uh, as human beings to leave the world in a better place than we found it. And now more than ever, I think that sense of uh, the life of the heart, that sense of, of kindness, that sense of respect, that sense of a community that we need to sometimes reimagine and re recherish and rekindle in ourselves is particularly important. And as our graduates in research today, we hope that you not only are drawn to that life of the mind, but also that life of the heart, which more is more and more important uh, in today's world th than uh, many times before. And in that context, I'd like to introduce to you uh, two of our uh, uh, honorary graduates, um, Maura Gagan Quinn, who's the former uh, commissioner, uh, European Commissioner for Research, Innovation and Science, and was also a member of the uh, Cabinet of the Government of Ireland, uh, and her insight on research, particularly important to us, and John Ging, who uh, works with the UN uh, and is uh, part of uh, the UN's front line very often in working with people uh, in the dispossessed and those at the margins uh, and those who are vulnerable in our societies globally. We're very proud of both Mara and John. And thinking of today, we thought we would 
ask them to say a few words to you because they are both people who have worked both the life of the mind and the life of the heart. And I'll introduce them to you now uh, with our gratitude and I'll come back and say a few words to finish after we've shown those videos. On this World Health Day 2020, let me first of all congratulate all of you on reaching this incredible day in your lives. Your perseverance, your determination, your uh, resilience, uh, all of your hard work has paid off and you finally come to graduation day. But of course, on a glorious day like it is today in Galway, you would have expected to meet all of your friends, college friends, have all your parents and families present. But unfortunately, due to the COVID-19, that is not possible. However, you couldn't graduate with a PhD or a master's on a more significant day or time because these are challenging times. It's not just the COVID-19 where we need researchers. It's also in climate and all of the other major issues that are confronting the world of today. The importance of research cannot be overstressed at a time like this. Knowledge, the knowledge that you have is a knowledge that must be shared with one another with, within groups within teams to help find the solutions to the major problems in front of us. When you graduated, I'm sure that none of you thought that you would end up on a day like today, or maybe some of you did. I know that when I graduated as a teacher from Carey's Fort way back in the olden days, uh, I never thought that it would lead me into politics for 22 years, into a cabinet uh, in Ireland, and then finally living in the European Union in two different countries for 15 years. And finally, in the job that I loved most, the job where I was responsible for research, innovation and science in the European Commission. I know what it is to work in teams and to work to share the knowledge that you have and to work to develop, whether it's a vaccine or whatever solution it might be to the events that are happening all around the world today, but also that will happen and go on to happen in the future. One of the best days of my life when I was a commissioner was when I visited a township in South Africa where a clinical trial was in the process, it was in process. And as I exited the room, having been told and explained what was happening with the clinical trial, meeting a young woman from Athenry of all places in County Galway, who had graduated from NUIG and ended up where she never thought she'd be, working side by side with researchers and scientists in a township in South Africa, trying to find a solution for malaria and AIDS. So you never know what might happen after today. It's a wonderful day. You deserve all of our congratulations and congratulations to all your teachers, your lecturers, your professors, and most particularly your families who have given you the support and allowed you to have the determination to fulfill your dreams. Good night, Eliv. Congratulations, everybody, on your conferring. Uh, well earned, well deserved, as we all know. Um, and of course, you have this additional, uh, I think, a feature which uh, you look back on in years to come, a virtual conferring, um, which is a reflection of uh, what is now a new world order. Um, uh, everything will now have to change. Um, and this COVID-19 has been a massive wake-up call uh, about the urgency for change. We're a small world, we're an interconnected world. Those of us who have worked internationally have for many, many years been appealing for a greater global approach to the big issues that affect us all, whether it is health and the risk of pandemics, whether it is climate change and its impact on the, the planet on which we live, or things like poverty and the insufferable poverty that so many billions endure on a daily basis. Now is a time to reset and rethink and re-energise ourselves about creating a better world with more humanity, with more commitment to making it a better place for all people um, and to pursue with the vigour, the energy, the creativity, the innovation around solutions to make it a better world. Um, you're embarking on your journey. I celebrate with you as a former graduate of NUIG 
and I encourage you to make your legacy in 20, 30, 40, 50 years' time about the difference that you made as an individual, the contributions that you made, little and large, to making this a better world for all the people. Congratulations. So, Buikas Lemora, Agaza John, uh, both associated with NUI Galway as our honorary graduates, and uh, John as a graduate, and particularly uh, proud of their work. And we hope uh, that today they, uh, this is a special day for you uh, as our graduates, for your family and friends. Uh, we hope that today uh, you embark on a, a future where you find research uh, meaningful for the life of the mind, but also the life of the heart, uh, that you find research meaningful in its, all its uh, variety and multiplicity of ways, because we know that the problems of the world are not solved from one particular perspective. Uh, we've learned this. Uh, and we know also the importance of community and the importance of uh, imagination, the importance of creativity, the importance of the contribution we can make in health, in climate, and in so many other ways to that sense of society that we have. And we hope that you embark with today. Most of all, uh, we hope we bring with you a sense of respect uh, for uh, your work, for the literature, for others in your work, but also a sense of respect for that uh, humanity, that community that uh, we see as being reimagined and being uh, really important in the context of today. Uh, and finally, uh, I parsed at the beginning uh, the words of Cogordicus uh, um, uh, in Irish that we celebrate together. Uh, and as uh, my colleague Paul O'Doherty said earlier, the, the, we see ourselves at NUI Galway as a community, and therefore today we're imagining and reimagining that sense of community in, in new ways. And I thank all our colleagues who have made this day possible today, but who've made this day possible in your journey together uh, through your research and studies at, at NUI Galway, Gormaha Gavilig. And when we parse that phrase on Ukkal Nuan, the Nafoklashin and Ngailige, Gormaha Gav, when we translate them literally, they say, May you have good. And I think particularly at this time, May you have good. Take care, take care of yourselves and each other, most importantly, as a matter of priority in this current context. Uh, but most of all, take care of yourselves and each other as you journey through life. Make a difference uh, and you have the opportunity to make the world a better place. The responsibility of us all. Grimin Mahagov, Ganari Liv, Kogordikas Arish, Agus Gramahagov, Asaf Veling and you, and Erkunshi Exul and Amar Kapmer, Akhtashiv Ling, Marshin Hain. Grimin Mahagov. That concludes the conferring ceremony. But before we finish, I want to thank those people whose hard work and professionalism have ensured that this ceremony has been made possible, and in particular, Tara Leiden, Fanula Nicholain, and the conferring team. But in addition, let me thank John Caulfield from the President's Office and Dave Brandt of Brandt Studios in Galway, who have coordinated this graduation. Agus Chervish Ashtachan Holskala Kumai. To you, the graduates, I have just one last thing to say. As you celebrate with us virtually, and I hope in the company of your family, go now and make the most of the qualification you've gained and of the life ahead of you. When I give salt your wine, as in lay a ten you in, I can't tell it how over my faster. Good morning, good